So last week I posted my Fallout 4 load order of what I think is the absolute best looking load order for Fallout 4 on the Xbox. And I said in that video, if it does well, I'll post my Skyrim load order too. And well, that video did quite good for a channel as small as myself. So here it is, my Skyrim load order. Now just like my Fallout 4 load order, I'm not going to talk about each individual mod, otherwise we will be here for at least an hour and nobody wants to hear me talk for an hour. This load order is very lore friendly and it was made to have multiple playthroughs. I've been using this load order for about a year or so now, only adding a couple of mods here and there and it works beautifully. One thing I do want to mention is my head tracking mod, the mod that puts enemy health bars above their heads. I know that this won't be for everyone, some people love it, some people really hate it. So I will say this load order works absolutely fine without it. I used this load order for a good few months before I even discovered that mod, so I know for sure that it will work if you decide not to go with the head tracking mod. I also want to mention CBBE and Serranaholic which you'll see later on in the load order. If you don't want to use Serranaholic, then you don't need CBBE. I literally only have it because the only mods I could find that changed Serrano's preset were CBBE options. This load order is solely built around role-playing, so you can take any race, pick starting perks and gear, choose where you start the game, which factions you're a member of, what quests you'll be doing, and all the rest of it. You will have a lot of free space for this load order too, so you should be able to download some of your own mods onto this load order, and hopefully it will work fine, but even if it doesn't, it's all good, because you can just come back here and redo the load order again until it does work. And of course, if you guys do have any problems with the load order, feel free to comment and I will try to help the best I can. And real quick, if you guys could hit like on the video, it would mean a lot. It really helps out smaller channels like myself and these load order videos do take a hot minute to create. So I'd really appreciate it. And hey, if you want to stay up to date on Elder Scrolls 6, Fallout 5 and Starfield news, leaks, discussions and plenty of other content, consider subscribing because we do cover it all over here. I pretty much put this load order together because I got sick of modding for 20 hours and only playing for 4 hours. I wanted a load order that I barely ever had to change and that worked extremely well. Unlike my Fallout 4 load order, I didn't build this one from the ground up and try and create an amazing load order for you guys. I made this load order for myself so I didn't have to waste time modding anymore. So this load order won't be for everyone as I've already mentioned. Again, feel free to add or remove mods to personalise it for yourself. If you do change around, add or remove mods, just be careful. If it doesn't work, feel free to come back here and try again. This will of course work for PC too, but this is my Xbox load order, and it's a lot harder to mod on consoles, which again is why I wanted to just have a clean set load order that I never had to mess around with that didn't cause me any problems. And as I said earlier, there is a lot of space left over for this load order, despite it being quite big as it is, so you guys should be able to have enough room to add in some armour or weapon or even companion mods that fit your personal playstyle. Anyway, we are wrapping up here. Again, if you could like the video, it really would mean the world. I hope that you did all enjoy this load order. Again, if you have any problems, please just comment below and I will try and help the best I can. But anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Again, I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you all for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.